1966, Walter Bombeki was on exile in London, where he had completed his bachelor's degree and had stayed back to complete his master's degree on the advice of his boss at the time, Oliver Tambo. He met Zanele, who was a social worker and also a student at the University of London at that time. Despite all the pressure put on him due to the first against racial segregation in South Africa from a distant country, Mbeki's heart is still new when it had found the woman he would like to spend forever with. After meeting in 1966, the two remained in contact even when he traveled to Moscow for his military training in 1969. After over years of knowing each other and staying in contact while Mbeki traveled from one country to another, Yenali sought the permission of Oliver Tambo and ANC to get married to Zaneli Lamini, as it was required that the ANC must permit him before getting married to anyone. Mbeki was so in love with Zaneli that he told Oliver Tambo's wife, Adelaide Tambo, that if his boss did not permit him to get married to Zaneli, he would never marry and would never seek permission again because he was convinced that Zanel Lamini was the woman he wanted to spend forever with. From this statement alone, it is easy to deduce that Mbeki has remained a husband to one wife because he loves her dearly. Fortunately for him, Oliver Tambo granted him the much required permission to get married to the love of his life. On the 23rd of November 1974, they tied the knot at a registry in London and the ceremony was held at Farnham Castle in Surrey, house of Zanelli's sister Edith and her husband, Greneville Gray. While Aesop Pohard stood as his best man, Adelaide Tambo and Mendim Simang stood in local parenting for him. As of the time of their wedding, Becky was 32, while his wife was 36. Even though she is obviously older than him, it has never been known to have caused any problem in their marriage. The couple was apart for many years in their marriage, and whenever this is reported, it is usually preceded for or followed by the fact that the union is without a child. They have often been apart many due to Mbeki's work in the ANC, which usually required traveling from one country to another. After getting married in November 1974, by January the following year, he was sent to Swaziland on an assignment, a journey that his wife was not reported to have followed him. And on completing his assignment in Swaziland, by 1977, he was sent to Nigeria on another assignment. This time around, his wife spent most of that year with him in Nigeria. But after Nigeria, he was sent to Zimbabwe. And from the look of things, she did not go with him. When Yenali became deputy president and later president of South Africa, she was not spotted with him at campaigns and rallies or election days. Even after winning the electoral votes, she was not very comfortable with the newfound fame and tried as much as possible to stay away from the public.